The War in Gaza Expands to Yemen. Hello and welcome. I'm Jalani Tisfaye, and this is News Analytica. The rocket and drone attacks against commercial ships on the Red Sea by the Houthis in Yemen, in a show of their support for Palestinians in Gaza, have continued. Many have argued that these attacks are part of a coordinated military reaction by members of the Iran-led Axis of Resistance, Hezbollah, Hamas and the Houthis against Israel and the West at large. In today's news analysis, we'll explore the evolving political developments in the Middle East following the current Israel-Hamas war with particular emphasis on this axis. Stay with us. The war in Gaza, which commenced with an attack in southern Israel by Hamas on October 7, has seen more than 20,000 dead Palestinians and is only getting worse. The Houthis, officially known as Ansar Allah, have launched several drones and missile attacks on commercial ships threatening maritime security across the Red Sea. In response, the United States sent its armada to the region and created a 10-country task force to condemn joint patrols in the Red Sea, the Bab al Mandeb Strait, and the Gulf of Aden. This aims to keep maritime traffic flowing, though top global shippers like Denmark's AP, Mahler Merck's, and Germany's Hapak Lloyd already diverted their ships to other routes. Moreover, as Israel continues to fight in Gaza and conduct raids in the West Bank, the U.S. has conducted airstrikes in Iraq. These measures are seen as indirect military engagements against Iran. However, despite these measures by the U.S. and Israel, some analysts are pointing out that the axis that brings together Hamas, Hezbollah, and the Houthis continue to coordinate across the region as a united front. The second dimension of the coordination among the axis is its expansion to Yemen. For decades, Hezbollah and Hamas were the only two Arab powers that posed a military threat to Israel. The Houthis' ongoing drone and missile attacks on Red Sea shipping routes have now complicated the war and may also provide the Yemeni group with leverage against its Western adversaries. The third aspect is the increased military capabilities of the Houthi forces, which was demonstrated in their drone attacks against ships on the Red Sea. This expansion of the military axis against Israel and Western interest in the region is the latest complication in the geostrategic developments of the Middle East in the last half century. As the Israel-Palestinian conflict drags on, the specter of regional conflict and more actors joining the violence continues to increase. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Analytica.